What's up guys Darren here bringing you another video. But before I get more into the video I want everyone to comment below their 3 most recent emojis. So in this video I will be showing you guys how to get the iOS 11 emojis on your Android device as well as how to get the different skin tones for the emojis. With that said, let's get this video started. So first, I'm going to show you guys my current emojis. So as you can see, these are my current emojis. We're going to change these emojis to the iOS 11 emojis. So you want to go to your settings, scroll down to security, and ensure unknown sources is enabled. Once unknown sources is enabled, you want to click the link in the description and it will take you to this website. You want to download this file on your device. A few moments later. Once it is downloaded, you want to go to the Google Play Store and you want to search for ES File Explorer. Now you want to install it on your device. Also at the end of this video, I will be showing you guys whether or not this will work on Snapchat. Since it seems like for most people, that is the main reason you guys want these emojis. 12 seconds later. Once it is installed, you can go ahead and open it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the menu by tapping here, then scroll down to Root Explorer. And you want to enable Root Explorer by tapping the toggle. Keep in mind, you will need to root your device in order to enable Root Explorer to get this done. Once you have Root Explorer enabled, you want to go to your internal storage, then go to the root directory where you will have access to your system files. You then want to go to the system folder, then go to fonts, and we are going to make a copy of the Noto color emoji true type font file, just in case you want to go back to your previous emojis. So hold down on it, then select more, then select copy to and choose a folder that you want to copy the file to. I made a folder called the backup font so I'm going to select that folder then select OK. Now the file is backed up. You want to tap on the back button to go back to the internal storage then go to the download folder. Now hold it down on the file you downloaded, then tap on more, then select copy to. Now you want to go back to the root directory and find the system folder. Then tap on the funds folder, now select OK. You will need to grant ES File Explorer root access in order to copy the file to this folder.
then select overwrite. Once the file is copied to the funds folder, we will need to reboot our device. Now that the device is rebooted, I am going to show you guys the iOS emojis. So I am going to open my keyboard. So now we have the iOS emojis. But as you can see, we cannot see the new iOS 11 emojis. And we cannot change the skin tone if we hold it down on the emoji. I should be able to hold it down on the emoji and change the skin tone. But it doesn't work. So now I'm going to show you how to get the iOS 11 emojis to show up as well as how to get the different skin tones. What you need to change the skin color is the correct keyboard. So the keyboard I'm going to show you is the Google keyboard. You can go to the Google Play Store and search for a Gboard. Then go ahead and install it on your device. Once you have it installed, go ahead and open it. Select Enabling Settings. Then use the toggle to enable Gboard. Now select OK. Select Input Method. And choose Gboard. Now it's Set Permissions. Then select Done. Now you should be able to see the new iOS 11 emojis. So I'm going to select some of the new ones. As well as you should be able to change the skin tones on the emojis. So if I find one of the emojis that can change skin tones and hold it down on it. As you can see I am able to change the skin tone and we now have the new iOS 11 emojis. I am now going to show you guys if this works on Snapchat. So I'm going to go to the Google Play Store and search for Snapchat. Now I'm going to install it on my device. A few moments later. Now that it is installed, I am going to open it and log in. 12 seconds later. Then I am going to take a picture. Now I am going to open my keyboard. And as you can see, the iOS 11 emojis worked on Snapchat. Now if you want to go back to your previous emojis, you want to go back to ES File Explorer.
go to the folder where you made the backup of your previous emojis. For me, that is the backup font folder. You want to hold it down on the file, select more, then copy to. Now you want to go back to the root directory, then find the system folder. Go to fonts and select OK. Then select Overwrite. Now you should have your previous emojis. So I'm going to reboot my device to show you guys that I now have my previous emojis. I am now going to open my keyboard. And as you can see, I have my previous emojis. So if you did enjoy this video, then remember to smash the thumbs up button. And if it is your first time here, then you do want to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.